Hello, today's story is going to be about Mary Kay Ash. Mary Kay was born May 12th, 1918, and her given name was Mary Kathleen Wagner. She was born in Hot Wells, Texas, was the daughter of Edward Alexander and Lula Vemba Hastings Wagner. During Mary Kay's young years, her mother was a practicing nurse and later became a manager of a restaurant in Houston. Once her mother became a manager, then things became pretty tough for young Mary as her father had contracted tuberculosis and Mary had to attend school, come home, clean the house and look after her ailing father and at this time she was only six years old. When Ash attended school she went to the Dow Elementary School and the Regan High School in Houston and graduated in 1934. Mary was an excellent student and was awarded many prizes for typing, being a top debater among other amazing achievements. When Mary left school she wanted to go into the medical profession but unfortunately her home circumstances prevented that from happening due to a lack of money. Instead, Ash married at the age of 17 to a man called Ben Rogers and they went on to have three children. Ben Jr., Mary Lynn Reed and Richard Rogers. Things were going along well for young Mary until World War Two started in 1939 and her husband Richard went off to serve in the war. During this time Mary sold books door to door which she continued to do through to the late 1930s. When her husband Richard returned from the war in 1945, they got divorced. This was something that was not prevalent in the 1940s to be divorced and a single parent. In 1939, Mary became a sales rep for Stanley Home Product and whilst working for Stanley Home Product, she attended many award ceremonies where she saw people up on the stage being given amazing awards for that era and this is when Mary decided that she wanted to be the top saleswoman so she could be recognised on the stage. Mary was determined that she was going to be the next person this would happen to. She worked tirelessly for the following year doing three home parties every single day and at the end of the year she was recognised as the top salesperson. However, she was very disappointed with her prize. The prize she saw the person get the year before was an alligator purse and all Mary got was an underwater torch that fishermen use. That leads me to believe that the company didn't think a woman could win it two years in a row, so therefore the prize was aimed at a man. As Mary continues on, she joined World Gift Company in 1952 and she is quickly recognised and promoted to the manager of Houston operations and then becomes the national training director. That sounds like a prestigious job for anyone, let alone a woman in the 1950s. But this is where Mary became very disillusioned as people she had trained got promoted above her 
because she was a woman. In 1963, Mary married George Hollenbach, and unfortunately, in the same year, he had a heart attack and died. Just before this happened, George, Mary had decided that she was going to retire from the World Gift Company. Mary is armed with 25 years of sales experience and she writes a book called Female First in Their Fields, Business and Industry which becomes the blueprint for a new business idea. And this is what Mary was setting up before George died. Because George had died, she now had to borrow the startup cost of $5,000 from her oldest son, Ben Rogers Jr., now, the only thing missing for Mary was the product itself. She had decided it had to be a consumable, so it would be reordered. Whilst with Stanley Home Products, she met over half Spoonmore, the daughter of a leather tanner, who had the smoothest hands ever. Spoonmore had been experimenting with leather tanning solutions to create a face cream. Incidentally, Ash had been using the cream herself and was impressed with it so much that she acquired the recipe and started her company with it. Armed with the 5k from Ben, a storefront in a manufacturing facility in Dallas, she decided to call her company Beauty by Mary Kay and she started off with nine friends who became beauty consultants and they did home parties for a small selection of five to six people. That was quite different from the Stanley Home Products parties because the number of attendees there was 20 or more. When the business first started, they educated women on skincare routines and how to apply makeup to give the women enhanced features. During all of this, Mary did every single job with the exception of keeping the books which her youngest son, Richard, did. What does Mary doing all the jobs mean? Well, she wrote out all of the literature for marketing. She carried out all of the training of how to do the makeup for the beauty consultants to go out and train other people. She took all of the phone calls. She also wrote out all of the steps required for each different look that was to be achieved with the makeup and the steps for the skincare routines. At the end of the first year, they reported wholesale revenue of $198,000. To get started with this MLM company, you needed to buy a kit which cost $100, and back in the early 1960s, a hundred dollars was an awful lot of money, maybe in today's range around the thousand dollar mark. You also needed a vast work ethic and the lure that was used by this company was number one, becoming your own boss. Number two, charging what they wanted for the products. They bought the products at the wholesale price and they could basically charge whatever they wanted as a retail price. I mean, can you imagine that today? No one would ever get away with that, would they? And how can you have people in the same town all charging different amounts for a specific item? I'm surprised that actually worked. Number three, there was no cap on earnings potential. They also used 
the lure of being given diamonds and gold on stage as they were recognised as top salespeople for their areas. And then later on, they were awarded Cadillacs instead of the jewels. You didn't have to have the Cadillac though, you could have the car, money or a tropical holiday instead. The following year, so this is the second year of the company, they boasted profits of $800,000 and had 3,000 consultants and they changed the name of the company to Mary Kay Cosmetics. And another lure was the fact there were no sales territories, which meant that the consultants could work from anywhere. During the building of Mary Kay, Mary herself always dressed immaculately and had flawless makeup. And that continued throughout her life. One stipulation that Mary said had to happen is the beauty consultant had to wear a black coat when they were in the homes of people teaching them how to use the skincare and the makeup. And as they achieved different ranks in the company, they had to wear different coloured suits and different coloured shirts under the suit and that is what stipulated the rank they were. One of the downsides of wearing these suits is you had to buy them yourself and after listening to an interview of a Mary Kay director from back in 2015. She was saying that a suit would set you back $400 out of pocket. In 1968, Mary Kay decided to float the company on the New York Stock Exchange and stock prices soared to 670% in the 70s and 80s and Mary Kay Cosmetics was voted the largest multi-level marketing company in the US. In 1979, the first $1 million earner was produced. Just because a person earns $1 million, that's before expenses and taxes so that person hasn't actually earned one million dollars and what's not clear about that point is whether that person started in the company at the very beginning or if they started later. Mary Kay also wrote a second book which was her autobiography in 1984. In 1985 they bought back the company for $450 million and Mary Kay said it was so she didn't have to answer to men anymore. In 1996, Ash had a stroke and her son Richard became the CEO. But even though Mary had had a stroke, she continued to work in the company. Mary died in 2001 and in 2003 it was reported that Mary Kay Cosmetics had 1 million consultants, over 200 products, had a wholesale revenue of $1.8 billion and had over 200 consultants that had achieved the $1 million mark. Those figures all sound absolutely amazing, but now we're going to look at the red flags of this company. People have stated that they only worked a short amount of time inside Mary Kay. But that's not really a good representation of what actually happened. Mary Kay last produced an income disclosure statement 
in 2019 and only for the Canadian market. Why is there no statement for the US, which is where it did the majority of its business? If I had to hazard a guess, I would say it's because people are not doing what is reported they are and many people are struggling. You're going to see why I'm saying that now as I show you this 2019 statement for Canada. At this time in 2019, there were only four ranks. Independent beauty consultant and their average annual commissions was zero and 83.137% of people were at that rank. The next rank is independent beauty consultant and for the year of 2019 they only earned $206. Gotta remember this is for the whole year and 15.138% of them were on that rank. Then you've got the independent sales director and for that rank you have to attend training which is called DIQ and it takes you three months to become an independent sales director and the average annual commission for that rank is $20,137 and it takes on average four years to get to that position. And then the top rank is Independent National Sales Director and the average annual commission is $124,072 and there's only 0.05% of people which reach that rank and it takes an average of 15 years to get there. Another thing to take into consideration with these figures is the fact that no expenses are included and no tax. So you've got to take all of that out of those figures which makes it sound pretty dire, doesn't it? Let's have a quick look at the figures it takes to get started today. This is the Mary Kay website in 2023. And at the moment, they've got a limited time offer for the month of October. You can start with a Mary Kay e-start pack, which is going to cost you $25. But in it, all you're going to get is a few samples and some literature. And these samples, you're not allowed to send them to people to try the product before they buy it. You're supposed to do an in-home party and demonstrate the product. Option two is the Mary Kay E-Start Plus. So you get everything that was in first pack plus a few more samples and selling resources and that is $35 and pack three is called the Mary Kay Pro Star and that is $75 but at least in there you do get actual products so that's your startup cost but you're still going to have to spend money on actual products that you're going to use yourself the most popular product in Mary Kay is called Time Wise Miracle Set and that is going to cost you $116 for their 60th year and anniversary they've brought out an eyeshadow palette and that's $32. A limited edition Mary Kay velvet lip crayon is $18. Limited edition Mary Kay nail polish $10 and a limited edition Mary Kay shimmer liquid eyeshadow is $18. A foundation is going to cost you between $22 and $25. A mascara is going to cost either $16 or $18. In 2020, the levels of achievership in Mary Kay changed. Level 1 consultant 
buy the $100 kit and place an order of at least $225 wholesale plus tax and shipping order at least once per year to remain a consultant must be an active consultant in order to purchase products at wholesale pricing and you are considered an active consultant if you have ordered at least $225 wholesale in the last three months. Level 2 senior consultant. You need one to two active recruits. You get 4% commission on team orders and $50 team building bonus available when a new recruit places a $600 wholesale order. Well, that's not much for you, is it? The company gets $600 and you get 50 Level 3, Star Team Builder, which was formerly known as Star Recruiter, and this is the first red jacket level. To get to this, you need three to four active recruits. Commission on team orders of 4% if you get production under $1,000. You get 6% if the production is $1,000 to $1,799 or 8% on production of $1,800 or above and a $50 team building a bonus, the same as above when the new recruit places a $600 wholesale order. Team leader, five to seven active recruits, 9% commission on team orders, but eligible to earn 13% if you have five active team members place orders of at least 225 wholesale and you personally order $600. So you've got to spend $600 and the same $50 bonus for a $600 wholesale order from a new recruit. Elite team leader replaces future director level as of July 2020. Eight or more active recruits. 9 to 13% commission on team orders and the same $50 bonus. Sales directoring qualification. So this is the DIQ that I was talking about earlier, which takes three months. You must be accepted into the program by the company and have 10 or more active recruits in the month prior to entering the DIQ program. And that has changed because it previously required eight or more. And that changed in July 2020. 9 to 13% commission on team orders. The $50 team building bonus. Requirements to complete qualification period. So as I said, up to three months. 13,500 cumulative wholesale orders from yourself and your unit. Minimum of 10,500 production must be ordered by unit members, not including the DIQ. A maximum of 3,000 wholesale ordered by the DIQ. Minimum of 4,000 wholesale orders per month, even if the 13,500 minimum has already been met and at least 24 active unit members sales director four nine or thirteen percent commission on personal team orders nine percent commission on unit orders if wholesale production is naught to four thousand four hundred ninety nine thirteen percent on orders if wholesale production is four thousand five hundred to five thousand four hundred ninety nine 23% commission on unit orders if wholesale production is 5500 or more. $100 bonus for each new recruit who orders 600 wholesale or more if the unit has at least four of them. Pay to a maximum of 10 called the unit development cash bonus. $100 bonus for each new personal recruit 
who places a $600 wholesale order. $1,000 bonus for each new first line offspring director. An offspring director is a person who's reached the director status in your team and you offspring them to become their own team. $1,000 bonus if you're a first year director and achieve all of the following. On the move, Fabulous 50s Honor Society. 300 quarterly bonus if you have 5 star consultants plus 50 more for star over that. $1,000 bonus when qualifying or re-qualifying for a Cadillac. $1,000 bonus when achieving a higher circle of achievement or circle of e excellence than the previous year. Wellness award bonus of 800 to 2000 per year for unit sales production of 60000 or more in a calendar year and other contest bonuses available from time to time. The only thing I think is missing from that is how many people you need to have on your team. Senior Sales Director, one to two first line offspring units, same compensation as Sales Director, 5% commission on offspring if your unit production is at least 4,500. Future executive senior, three to four first line offspring units, same compensation as sales director, 6% commission on offspring if your unit production is at least $4,500. Executive Senior Director, 5 to 7 first line offspring units, same compensation as sales director, 7% commission on first line offspring if your unit production is at least $4,500. 1% commission on second line offspring if your unit production is at least 4,500. Elite Executive Senior, 8 or more first line offspring units, same compensation as sales director, 7% commission if your unit production is at least 4,500 from your first line. 2% commission on second line offspring if your unit production is at least 4,500. God, this is a bit repetitive, isn't it? National Sales Director Qualification. Have a personal unit with at least 24 unit members. Have a total of 20 offspring directors in any of the following first line senior, second line configurations. So you can have a 12, 3, 8, 11, 3, 9 or 10, 3, 10. For example, if you have the 12, 3, 8, you'll have 12 first line offspring with three of them seniors and eight second line offspring. Each of the 20 qualifying units must have at least 24 unit members. Of the 20 qualifying units, at least seven must be Premier Club or Cadillac units. We're going to get to what you need for the car in a minute. Personal unit must be a Cadillac qualifier. The people must be less than 65 years old. Formerly, there was a qualification period of four months during which wholesale production targets had to be met. National Sales Director. Appointment to NSD is at company's discretion after qualifications above have been met. In order to remain an NSD, one of the following area requirements must be met. 100,000 in NSD commission in the prior seminar year. At least eight first line offspring in the national area at least 20 offspring directors in first through third lines. The maintenance requirements are waived for the first two years after the NSD's 
W. If the NSD falls below the requirement, she will have up to two years to achieve one of the requirements to remain an NSD. 4, 9 or 13% commission on personal team orders. 13% sales director commission on personal unit orders. 10% NSD personal unit commission, 9% commission on first line units, 4% commission on second line units, 2% commission on third line units, 5,000 offspring sales director bonus for each first line director debuting after the 20 units required for NSD qualification, 1,000 wholesale production bonus on the anniversary of an offspring sales director who generates wholesale production of 60,000 or more within the last 12 months, quarterly leadership development bonus of 200 to $800 each first to third line unit, 2% commission on wholesale of top unaffiliated fourth line and below units, other bonuses and incentives available. Senior National Sales Director, one to two offspring NSDs, same compensation as NSD, 9% commission on first line who becomes NSD, 4% commission of second line who becomes NSD, 2% commission of third line who becomes NSD, $10,000 offspring NSD development bonus when the offspring NSD debuts and each year thereafter. Executive National Sales Director, three or more offspring NSDs, same compensation as senior NSD. Elite Executive National Sales Director, five or more offspring NSDs, same compensation as Executive NSD, 2% commission on fourth line units other general requirements for all levels except nsds and up you must be active in a month in order to be paid your commissions if you are not active you lose the commission you must order at least 225 dollars wholesale every six months to keep your recruits if you lose your recruit they become part of your sales director's unit but do not have a recruiter and in bracket company doesn't pay a recruiter commission to anyone this information from the blog pink truth can be found in the description below the same with any other sources used for this video and I've just got to read this disclaimer. This information is believed to be accurate as of July 2020. The compensation plan changes frequently so contact Mary Kay Incorporated for the most current information. Well I've actually looked up the most current information and I couldn't find anything more current than what we're looking at now. This is the Pink Truth blog again and here we're going to look at what cars you can achieve and what you need to do to get a car. There's Grand Achiever which you receive a Chevrolet Cruze, Premier Club, Chevrolet Equinox or Ford Fusion, Premier Plus, a Mini Cooper or Chevrolet Traverse and then Pink Cadillac. Grand Achiever Independent Beauty Consultants, $23,000 team production and 16 active team members in one to four consecutive months. Independent sales directors, 42,000 unit production in two consecutive calendar quarters. The Premier Club, 57,000 unit production in two consecutive 
calendar quarters. Premier Plus, 75,000 unit production in two consecutive calendar quarters. And to get the pink Cadillac, you need 102,000 unit production in two consecutive calendar quarters. If you become an independent national sales director, then you get the pink Cadillac as a perk. The main problem with Mary Kay and other multi-level marketing companies is they lure you in with promises of financial freedom, being able to work whenever and wherever you want but what they don't tell you is what the FTC say that over 97 percent of people in an MLM make little to no money but that was actually showed to us in the income disclosure statement many people who join MLMs end up being divorced losing their homes and losing their friends and family members. So is an MLM actually worth it? In my opinion, the answer will always be no. I saw a metric for Mary Kay and it said there were over 600,000 reps, but only 300 of them managed to earn a six figure income so maybe that will make you understand better why i disagree with this business model well that's it for today's video i hope you've enjoyed a different style of video today if you have please hit the like button subscribe to my channel i'll see you on the next video bye bye for now